So how come did you become a guide in Venice? One of the main reasons is that I don't drive. <laughs> and you know, this is, this is a very serious topic because especially with girls, uh, you know, if you don't drive, uh, you, you're seen like a, a, a useless man. Oh. In Venice, uh, this is more hidden. You know? oh, so if you don't, you don't have cars and no one no. remember the streets were the canals once and so the entrances are all by canal then yeah. all the alleys of the servants have been joined mm -hmm. and so now everyone goes walking but the real way of Venice was the water yeah. right yeah. that's why when they ask me uh, should I go in gondola or not uh, mm -hmm. is that touristic I say look I don't like the singing guy mm -hmm. <laughs> to be honest uh, but going by gondola allows you to see the city from the real exactly. point of view also I suggest them to take the Vaporetto if mm -hmm. there's not too yeah. many people maybe to take the lines that go more far from the center so the ones yes. who go in the channel yes. of the Giudecca so yeah. you see the pier and the real Venice uh -huh. but also the side canals uh, mm -hmm. if possible when you walk in the bridges you should bend and see yes and uh, but you know it's a, it's, a, it's a perfect city to to walk around uh, and in my opinion uh, um, uh, wandering aimlessly around Venice is one of the biggest pleasures of life you know? so uh, when someone with me says uh, I'm scared because uh, if, if, if I walk around alone I'm gonna be lost uh, no I'm, I'm, it happens uh, but it, it's such a small labyrinth no, you end the town you go yeah, back even even if you if you, <laughs> if you have the feeling of being lost you just keep walking in one direction and in a few minutes you're going to reach a very big monument or the end of the city The bridge of size, uh, it's a very cute baroque bridge, no? Mm -hmm. But it's just a bridge. Yes. And uh, it wasn't called the bridge of size, right? Mm -hmm. It was called like that afterwards by the romantics, uh, mm -hmm. who found everything incredibly romantic. Still, I think San Marco is the most beautiful church I've ever seen in my life. And I think I'm right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's so beautiful, it's so old. Mm -hmm. Even if it's not old like anything in Rome, mm -hmm. no? Still, it's, uh, it's, there's a scent probably of incense, of uh, humidity, mm -hmm. of uh, being so old that I love. In my, in my opinion, it's, it's very fascinating to see the difference of the mosaics in the different moments of the day, because with the, the, the different light... Uh, uh, Have you ever seen the church empty? Ah, yeah, during the, the evening, the night, when Totally they... empty. Ah. You have to sit mm -hmm. and lay down and watch the main uh, dome. Uh -huh. And it really gives you goosebumps. Uh. Everyone is asking me how is living in Venice. First of all, they ask me if I live in Venice, and I say yes. And how is living in Venice? For a bit, they don't believe it. But really, they don't in Venice. believe it. And I show them where I live. Sometimes I can also show them where I live. Mm. It's a pleasure to go out, open the door, and find your friends, yes. and go drink a coffee. It's a, there's a, those famous streets in which you have all the world. Then you have all the rest of yeah. town in which there's no one, and you know you live yes. in Canareggio. <laughs> yes. And it's a pleasure. You find a grandpa with a baby, yeah, drink yeah, the yeah, coffee, yeah, absolutely, and absolutely. it's safe. And it, it's really mm. much more normal mm. than they think. in the tomb. Eh? How come these buildings are look so old? Yeah. Madam, because they're old. Mm. Why don't they make new ones? <laughs> okay, thank you. I'll talk with the mayor. <laughs> We're waiting for you. Thank you.